as indigenous people in the Aya Church, we have been treated like children. We've had to hold the hands of the wider church and ask for permission before we can make structural changes. We are not the children of the wider church. We are our own peoples. We are our own elders. We are our own adults. This remit allows us to let go of that hand that says we are children. This remit allows the youth that are in that room over there to be able to change the structure of how we operate. We cannot change that without permission from the GC. And that is why we need this remit, is so that we, as everyone in this room, can make a change. And I just wanted to say that, and just to speak my truth, that we are our own leaders, and we can make that decision. Thank you. I really encourage the remit passing because we have so much to give. There's gifts that have to be shared. We were talking about the difference between funerals, about baptism, name giving. We have lots to share without the United Church telling us what we should be doing, we should be teaching. As we heard, this is what we've been praying for, what we've been asking for. This is autonomy, self-governance. We are sovereign nations of our own. We had our strengths as ceremonies. I want to share one quick thing too that Mishkudeh Biziki is with us. When I came this morning and I go first to the fire keepers, and because I'm not the one sitting there all night with it, my question right away was, do we have any visitors? Because that's what I do. He stood there for a minute and he said, no, not really. And then he said, there was something. He said at one point during the sunrise, when people were by the fire, there seemed to be a cold air gust and he said people could suddenly see their breath with the fires they were standing there sharing. I knew right away that was that Vishkudan Viziki who stands guard at the western doorway, that he let us know he is here, still protecting the spirits of those little ones because his breath, he was stomping at the doorway and that mist was his breath from snorting to let us know he's here. So keep that in mind with the vote. He is with us here, and the spirit of those little ones, they are home, because they are here. They're here with the bundles and everything that we bring together. Aho, miigwech. The Indigenous Church will be itself. The Indigenous Church will determine its own structure, its own governance system, in its own way and in its own time. And each one of those short phrases is important. So, in a sense, this late is clear. The challenge and the opportunity is upon us. Take the reins. Move forward. And what is created as we as Indigenous Church moves along will not be perfect in the first stages of creation. But it's a uh, it's giving birth to something new. And so as Indigenous Church moves along, decisions are made and adjustments will be made along the way to come eventually to a good system that will bring healing and wholeness. 
not only to Indigenous Church, but as has already been stated, so many gifts to share, perhaps healing and wholeness for the whole church and creation. You can see.